Okie dokie, what's up dudes? We got an unboxing today. This is uh, a package that was sent to me by a company, um, a new company, and they've sent me a knife before, and it's called uh, x -Tuk. They sent me this guy a while back to review, and um, I've been really pleasantly surprised with it. Um, so this is another knife from them, one that I thought looked interesting. But first, before we get into it, please subscribe to the channel. Um, just take my word for it. You're going to like the channel, so just do it now. Why not? Follow me on Instagram, too. Duties underscore daggers. Says it right there. So, um, x -Tuk. Uh They're, uh, a real, as far as I know, new uh, company that's uh, kind of in the the budget Amazon knife kind of world. Uh, if you've ever looked at, at uh, knives on Amazon, you know there's a bunch on there. Um but this one in particular has a few designs that really stood out to me. This one in particular, this is a button lock. Um, kind of aesthetically reminds me of a Chavez, kind of. Almost reminds me of like a Chavez and, a, and the uh, Civivi Conspirator. Um, I just really like it, you know. Um, it's got a pretty weak detent, um, but very smooth um, button lock action. Um, one thing I did point out in the when I did a video on it was they did not use flat-headed screws here, and um, when I talked to them, um, they said that they were resolving that issue in the next batch. So I don't think it was because I said anything, but they just wanted me to know because I mentioned it that that has been fixed. So that's cool. That's very cool. The clip is inset, which is great. So it was just weird that they didn't also put the flat-headed screws in there. So that apparently is going to be fixed. Um, the clip is not bad, uh, definitely not bad at all. It's just, a, I think it's a good looking knife. Um, it's very ergonomic, um, pretty thick, just fills out your hand nicely. I like the blade. So, um, I was looking on Amazon recently and I came across this one. And so I reached out to him. I said, hey, um, any chance you could send that to me? I'd love to check it out. And they said, yeah, sure. Man, this needs to be strapped up. I've been carrying this recently. Um, so yeah, they said sure, and they sent it to me, so I'm pretty stoked. It's a very interesting one, at least from what I can gather, looking at the photo. Let's see what we got here. I guess it's called the SNV5. Um, you know, I'm not even sure what this one's called. Uh, they kind of don't really have names for their knives, it seems like. Uh, there's some, like numbers and letters and I don't I never know if it's the name of the knife or what it is but anyways let's see here <laughs> this is an interesting one man this caught my eye for sure let's take a look big old pivot huge um okay interesting the clip is actually going in behind the scale so that's cool. This is like an ultra deep carry clip. We got a uh, green G10 backspacer. Uh, I can't tell if this is micarta or G10. It could be micarta. Um, now the thing that kind of drew me to this or got me curious about it was we, the flipper tab situation. We have a very minimal tab back here and we have this tab right here, which is weird. I've never really seen a front flipper, top flipper deal like that. I just really wanted to try it, so let's flip this thing. Ready? Okay. Not a bad first flip. I like that blade shape. Let's try it. Okay. All right. That's uh, pretty good, actually. Yep. All right. Okay, wow, it's smooth. Lock bar access isn't great. That's the first thing I noticed right off the bat that, that could be improved. But look at how smooth it is. A little bit of lock stick too. That should go away. Really interesting. So there's jimping down here, but also on the top of this little, I don't know what you even call that, like a little mohawk deal. Um, so you can put your thumb kind of right on top of that and you kind of slide off. You kind of want to go right in front of it. So you kind of catch this lip and then it works great. Over the top. Yeah, same thing. You kind of like 
wrap your finger around, get in front of that little tab. Wow, this is interesting, man. Okay, ergonomics are actually pretty good. Kind of a choke up spot. You can choke up right there for sure. Um, ooh, nice and thin behind the edge. I like that built satin finish. That looks good. Um, interesting swedge right there. Huh. What's going on inside here? Ooh, we have internal stop pins that are riding with the blade. You can see them on either side right there. And those are riding with the blade. That's cool. I like to see that. Hmm. This is interesting, man. I kind of like it. D2 blade steel. It's pretty thick, um, which I like. It, it, it fills out your hand nicely. Same with this one. It fills out your hand nicely. I, I really like that about these things. Let's see. The blade stock looks a little thinner on the button lock here. The lock stick is already almost gone. I think the detent could be a little snappier, but it's honestly really not bad. Really not bad. Much stronger than this one. And granted, this is a button lock, so it's going to be different. But way, way snappier than the button lock, so that's good. Okay, cool, man. This is interesting for sure. Uh, we got a microfiber in there and um, a, a Torx driver. Cool. x -tuk, baby. They're making interesting stuff. You got to give them that. Um, they're doing stuff out of the box, which I, I, I really appreciate. Um, you know, at first I wasn't sure about the big pivot, but I kind of like it. It's something different. We got T8 body screws. That's great. Looks like T8 pivot as well. Um, yeah, like I said, I like the, the uh, blade shape. I guess this would be a drop point. Or maybe a sheep's foot with, with a little e extra belly, maybe. I don't even know what you call it, really. But it's comfortable, man. The the uh, the handle kind of like humps back here. It kind of just sits in your hand really well, especially choked back. I think choked back is where it's at on this knife. You know, you could go up here if you want to get close to the edge for something. But this is comfortable back here. And then it kind of slopes down right here again for your thumb. Let's measure the thickness behind the edge because it feels quite thin. Let's also do some a little bit of cutting. Very sharp. Very, very sharp. Let's see. Are you going to be as thin as I think you are? Let's see. Yep, you are. Back right in front of the sharpening choil, we have 16 thousandths. Up here, towards the middle, it's even thinner. 15 thousandths. And then at the tip, ooh, even thinner at 12 thousandths. Wow. That is a very thin tip. Look at that thing. Damn. This is going to be a good utility cutter. The tip's nice and low. Ooh, yeah. That's nice, man. That is a nice blade. It's a nice thin edge. Yeah, man. I forget how much this is. I think it's right around uh, 45, 50 bucks, I believe. Same with this one, right around the same. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll link them both down below if you guys are curious and you want to check them out. I'll probably do a review uh, video on both of these. Let's do uh, an x video, you know. Um, awesome. So thanks to x for sending this to me. Uh, they're not paying me or anything, but they did send this knife to me for free. Um, but obviously, I'm giving you guys my honest opinions. Uh, I don't make any money by, by selling these, so... Um, 
yeah, thank you to Xtuk. This is cool, man. And again, I reached out to them on this one, on both of these, actually, because I thought they looked interesting. You know what would really take this to the next level is maybe thumb studs. You know, just go all out with the deployment methods. I don't know, maybe not, actually. Eh. Ooh, wait a minute. I can kind of reverse flick it. Yeah, I can. <laughs> actually, you know what? I forgot I had the quick stud. Let's throw this on there and just see how it would be. Uh, no, no, we're not. The blade stock is too wide. It won't fit on there. Damn it. I was excited for a sec. Um, I think I'm going to do a video about this quick stud because it's kind of fun. You can throw this on knives that don't have thumb studs just to kind of see what it would be like if they had thumb studs. It's really fun. I think everyone should get one of these, just kind of mess around with it. Um, so I might do a video. <coughs> Excuse me. I might do a video kind of just messing around with this thing. I think that'd be kind of fun. So anyways, x Tuke. Bam. There we go. Thanks for watching, dudes. Please like the video before you head out. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.